Greetings everybody and welcome to Dandy the Grand, the granddaddy plays Dandy Ace. I was actually waiting for this game quite a long time. We played this on stream last year and today it has been finally released. I'm playing with my controller in here because that is what is recommended and I'm going to go straight into the game. Apparently there's a Twitch mod going on in here as well but that is of no concern for us right now. We're gonna do a new run because we have not played this game at all yet. But we are going to see how far we are going to make it. We can spend shards to unlock permanent upgrades, like the tea potions. I remember those. Those were basically just giving us on-demand oh healings. My. Can I trust my eyes? Is that the legendary magician, Dandy Ace? That's me, Dandy Ace. You can also call me Dandy the Grand or Dandy the Grace. That's fine by me as well. Oh, I actually just wanted to fast forward that. Sorry, my guy. Okay, uh, let me see. Ash, Dace is full. Ash, yeah, we're not playing Pokemon in here. There's a dash card. Has a fairly short cooldown, that's good. Then we have the five of a kind. Ace Furl's five magic cards. I think I remember that one as well. Yeah, it's just a nice bread and butter combo. And then we have the packet trick. I think that was just... Some bombs you basically throw in front of you, right? Let's see. Yeah, and then enemies step on top of them and they go boom. Where can you reassign your cards? I think it was over here. Because I'm pretty sure you can just put it in there and increase the damage of your dash. Because that's a very, very cool thing about this game. They basically all have... Just be cool, guy. <laughs> I'm not sure if the demo back in the day actually had voice acting as well. I don't remember that at all. But I'm very, very happy that it, the full release version has. I wonder if at some point I can actually hear my own character speak. I would like that. Also, I wanted to have that on this one. No. Teleport. Won't be needing to teleport just now. Oh, these are no cliche tricks. I am getting hit a lot in here already. Pretty, pretty bad. I need to be a lot more careful. And I need to learn how all of my enemies, of course, are behaving in here. There doesn't seem to be any sort of hit stun I can apply on these guys. They have so much range, it's insane. Yeah, I, I kind of need medical assistance myself in here. Let's get these jokers out of here. There you are. Those two are gone off of you. Another one bites the dust. The cooldown on my cart is holding us back a little bit. I don't know if there are race reduced cooldowns in here. There's a lot of stuff we need to find out. There's more. There's a walking house. I wouldn't mind having one of those, like Baba Yaga. Oh my god. Okay, he has some kind of line target attack, so we should do our darndest in terms of just not standing in front of him. And we actually get some healing here. Bless it. Also getting a Passion Comet. I don't quite remember that one. I'm gonna try it out. Oh, okay, just a straight attack that explodes. And Blueprints. I think we have seen Blueprints on the demo back in the day as well. Be careful, ladies. That chest could be a mimic. Maybe... A mad mimic. It's not going to be a mimic. <laughs> I had a feeling it wouldn't be. Starburst, huh? What's that all about? It is a burst of magic repelling all nearby enemies. Ah, I see. It's basically just a point blank area attack that gives me some space. What does it do when I apply that to something else, though? Let's see. Adds push. Okay, it just adds some extra CC on basically anything I do. I don't think that's bad, necessarily. That would be bad. Let's actually do it like that. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure about that. So we chomped that one bunny down there, but it really didn't do all that much from us. Because the bunny was just like, not going to actually attack my friends. I'm going to walk towards them. Very, very menacingly. But that's all you get from me. Man, chomped enemies. They are not what they used to be. Oh, there's more. I've never seen that trick before. 
Ah, I have more tricks where that one came from. I love how vocal the villain is actually, as we are keep playing on in here. I feel like we don't get enough games that are like that. Where the villain is just allowed to be a douche towards us for the entire game. There's some more healing. Gracefully accepted. Boom, baby. And what do we get in here? Another blueprint. I think blueprints are just basically ways for us to get more stuff in the long term. Oh, don't you worry. Don't you worry. I'm not that easy to be overwhelmed. He said as he was taking a huge chunk of damage straight on with his face. He's no re damage there, though. Yeah, that passion meteorite is doing God's work for us. And another big healing. So far, the game has been very, very graceful with those. Just throwing my way all the time. I hope that trend will continue, you son of a gun. Oh, that hurts. You can tell the game, the game tends to overwhelm you with enemies pretty, pretty fast. You need to be on your toes constantly. I'm just looking forward to just experiment a lot with all of those different cards we can get different skills with. Just so we can see what else we can tinker around in here. Uh, this is where I came from, right? I think so. Let me check my map really quick. Actually, no. Actually, no, we haven't been there before at all. That's the idea. I cannot take them all at the same time. Oh, that was a Metal Gear Solid reference. Don't even pretend like that wasn't, but I can respect it. So you can spend shards to unlock permanent upgrades, like the teapots at the, at the shards tent. I'm pretty sure that tent is actually somewhere in the game as well, so... Not quite, Mr. Mysterious Guy. I'm back to the beginning. Okay, he actually has voice acting. It's called the Ever-Changing Palace for a reason. Every time you are defeated, you will restart here and the palace will rebuild itself. Great. That means I'm trapped here. The only way out is to defeat Lele. He's waiting for you in the throne room, deep inside the palace. Deep inside the palace. I'll get you there however I can. Yeah, yeah, this mysterious guy over here, where it's just who just happens to have the same voice of the guy who keeps taunting me all the time. That is the guy that is going to help me in here. Of course he is. This is of course he is. How often has that worked out in the past? Okay, so you know what? Being able to push enemies back with my card attack is actually kind of fancy. Let's see how much good that will do us. I guess his bodies it seems pretty pretty dope though. Damage is just not that high. Oh you. Just be cool, you. I wish we could deal extra damage by knocking enemies into those walls. There's that blueprint again. That would be the dream if we could pull that kind of move off. Like having a Poseidon boon, you know? Oh you. Yeah, those bunnies with the force, they are giving me so much trouble, it's insane. We actually saw me being able to just push him back as he was attacking. Thanks to my cards having that push property going on. There's another fork bunny. I can tell, man, those fork bunnies are going to be my nemesis for the longest time. Until something even worse comes around. That bunny again. Gotcha there, though. I hope I get something like that. Charm meteorite again that I had last time. I dashed into that. Son of a gun. Another one bites thus. Keep moving, keep moving. Uh we have options, huh? No keys for you. Only lock gates. Well, and we have no options then. I guess that's fine as well. Oh, fork bunny. Fork bunnies! Fork bunnies! We we surrender ourselves. We got pushed into a corner, and I did not care for that at all. So that seems to have a maximum range, like four of those thingies coming out of the ground. It's fine. I would like to find a new card in here sooner, rather than later. Fork Bunny 1 is down. They're gonna try to buy me. I don't care for that at all. Oh, there's a new card. Sugar Dandy! I like the sound of that. 
It shoots a powerful arrow. It has a pretty long cooldown. Actually, not that long. Doesn't have charges, but it's fine. Can we get something interesting in there? Oh, I can hold it. Does it... It becomes faster that way. Hopefully also a bit stronger. We'll see. Oh, we got a shop over here, but you have no financial power whatsoever. What do we have in here, though? There's the Passion Comet again. We'll love that one. Shocking Arrival. I think that was a very good dash, actually. Has a bit of a longer cooldown than the other, but deals some pretty, pretty good damage. And Bubble Trouble. I think that one existed in the demo as well, but I don't remember what it does. Another key, huh? Another key. Do we even have any more options than that? Okay, fine. Is there a way over here that I was missing out on? Oh, there is. I thought there was a dead end over here. Oh, hi! Okay, we chomp that guy. Keep moving. Boom. Okay, we chomp that guy. That's great. The cooldown is just low enough. And the range is pretty good, so we should be able to get some decent stuff done with that. Because we have some push on our card ability. On our super card throw over here. We can actually keep our enemies at a reasonable distance, too. Oh. Ooh, that charm came in hot. That charm came in super, super hard there. Can we just keep you permanently charmed? I think we can, maybe. With a bit more effort. Not that I'm particularly interested in the idea of keeping someone permanently charmed. Except for you guys. I want you to be very charmed with me. That will be the dream. That wasn't fair. You used the forbidden card. Oh, the Titan Punch! I remember the Titan Punch. Oh, Star Platinum. Let's go. Do we have anything interesting we can put in that? What does adding this one in here do? Adds damage to charmed enemies. But we sadly don't have anything that can charm just yet. Skip away from that. I already know that. That just adds push to it, huh? Okay, fine. Let's leave it at that. Oh, the Titanic Punch. I remember it being pretty, pretty strong. But we still have to be pretty, pretty careful. Oh, you! Oh, no! There were enemies everywhere. I thought I wanted to move up because it looked like there were no enemies and there were all the enemies. I couldn't even get my money's worth of the punches. Damn. You guys coming to this video having seen me playing Curse of the Death Gods? This is how it looks like when I play any game for the first time. Any game for the first time. I just need a lot of time to just learn it outright. The gate is locked and you have to keep moving. Isn't uh, it a great plan? That's, that's a fine plan, I guess. Keeps me engaged, that's for sure. Oh, we explode that, bunny. And we found another blueprint. Crescendo firework. Get ready to be amazed. There are more enemies coming. Ah, uh, doesn't quite amaze me all that much. Oh, you. Couldn't even dash her way fast enough for that. Yes. I'm gonna leave that cupcake around there. I'm gonna leave it around there because I don't actually need that much healing just yet. In case we need it later on the line, that cupcake will be there waiting for us. Hello. And then we will eat it with a lot of enjoyment. Oh, come over here. Come a bit closer. Yeah, that's the bunny friends I wanted to see. I think I'm slowly but steadily starting to get my bearing in here. Are you guys on my side or on Shocking side? arrival. Actually, great. Okay, yeah, you see, that's a dash. Has a bit of a longer cooldown, but it actually explodes where I arrive. I think I can extra add some damage in here. Let's see how that's gonna work for us. There's a shop. We have nothing we can spend in here. They'll just keep coming. Oh, yeah, they just keep coming. Oh, the damage is pretty okay. It's not the best around, but it exists. Oh. Also, we have two dashes now, which is pretty, pretty sexy. Oh. 
that allows me to just double dash like that now. Maybe having all the dash abilities is just the best way to play the game. If you can find some more, we'll try that out. Ooh. Ooh. Thought it was enough damage, but it wasn't. We're still going strong. We should actually eat that cupcake sooner rather than later. Ooh. A lot of enemies in here, as before. Almost got hit by that meteorite. By that fireball, you son of a gun, though. That was sexy. Oh, bunnies! Fork bunnies! Fork bunnies! Fork bunnies everywhere. The name. The name is basically already telling you everything you need to know about those. Uh, there's a new card. There's a Passion Comet again. I like that. I like that quite a bit. And I think that one was adding extra damage and charm to all the enemies. So that's good. And the Packet Trick we're going to keep around. Actually, let's add that Packet Trick to this card. For the extra damage. Now, who's next? Your mother was a bunny and your father smelt of glitter berries. Oh, you, you did not just say that. That's so rude. My mother was not a bunny, and I didn't even hear the rest. Oh, good. I needed that. I actually did. Oh, I dashed into that. There's another cupcake for me as well. Oh, I love to see it. Yeah, I think slowly but steadily, our synergy is actually coming together in the end. I love it. Eat that cupcake. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I can tell that guy is talkative, isn't he? Oh. It will take a while until I have understood all of the possible synergies in this game, but what we got going on in here right now? It's working. It's working pretty, pretty nicely. There's another fork bunny. My god. I feel like the fork bunnies are actually just your run of the mill regular enemy. And they're actually still the enemy that kind of gives me the most trouble among all. We'll get there. Don't get hit by that, though. Got that guy out as well. And boom. Hmm. Okay, you did okay. There's Bubble Troll. You have seen that in the shop previously. We'll die next time. Oh, that's slow. But we can also charge that. And then it goes a bit faster. What happens if we add anything to it? What happens if we add that one to it? Ah, uh, doesn't sound too, too good. What happens if we do it the other way around? Bubble Cluster. That actually sounds kind of promising. I want to see what that does for us. And I'm pretty sure that's the exit to the next stage. So let's actually explore this place a bit more before we leave it. First of all, we're going to grab that cupcake we still have lying around in here. There we go. Do a little bit for our health insurance. There was also a chest up in here. I'm not seeing that right. There is a chest up in here. Toxic spread. I don't think I've seen that one before. Okay, so... Let me actually see... How that one looks. Oh, that's cool. It's just point-blank damage right in front of your eyes. I like that. I like that quite a bit. Let's do it like this. Let's do it like this and see how much good that will do us. Yeah! A Castlevania reference! Those developers, they know their references. I like it. So far, I like the damage. I think I like what I see. The cool thing is that the game is really not at all holding back in regards of throwing out status effects around on enemies. There's a lot of games that just are like, okay, status effects, they can be fun every now and then, but in the long term... I am not going to lose focus, my man. But in the games like Final Fantasy, where status effects just become useless after a certain point in time, this game apparently not so, and I can't appreciate that. Okay, and now... Why, hello, lovely Jolly Jolly. I am very happy that you have found me. Jolly Jolly, are you hurt? Mister, the day I get hurt falling through a cursed mirror is the day I won't make our show happen. I take that as an affirmation. And that's never if you didn't catch that. 
I caught that. Thanks for always making the show happen, Jolly Jolly. You're very late, Mr. Ace. While you were moseying around, I was getting some field research done. Okay, come. On. It only took me three attempts to get here. It's not that bad. I ain't that bad. My dear, a magician is never late. Plus, I wasn't taking any longer to get here than what was strictly necessary. I agree, Dandy Ace. To be dazzling and splendid. I know, mister. Oh, she is sassy, I can tell. Perfection. Your powers of observation are immeasurable. And he responds with proper flattery, you know what? I can respect that. No surprise there, right? So listen to me on this. When you defeat enemies, some of them will drop shards from the cursed mirror. Okay. I've seen bloopers, but I don't think I've seen shards. These things I've been collecting. They're mirror shards? I should be wearing thicker gloves. When you bring them to me, I can unlock useful items for you. Okay, that sounds like oh, my type way, of the party. The cards and trinkets you found last time are now gone. Blueprints you found, those you can keep. Okay. Bring me shards and blueprints, and I'll help you retrieve your magical cards and trinkets. You got it? I got it. Okay, so this is basically the meta progression. Tea, potion, sachet. We knew that one. Basically, I can use it one at a time, and that gives me some honestly got good healing. And we also have the Crescendo Fireworks. That's the blueprint we found earlier. We don't have the shots for that. And the Binding Chains. I'm actually going to go straight into that teapot right now. Having some undermount healing is great. And we actually unlock more possibilities with that. The starting pink card is randomly drawn from your unlocked cards. Could be useful later down the line. Gold credit grants 250 gold at the start of each new run. Also very, very interesting. Reward tent, extra card. I think the reward tent is a place in this place where I just get something new thrown at me. I'm gonna do that, actually. I'm gonna go with that one. Well, we can't even yet because we have to unlock five more items. Okay, fine. In that case, we're gonna go with the Crescendo Firework. Sounds exciting. There, this heals all of my hey, HP. Thanks, and there's Mr. Jenny Ace. Jenny. For a moment, I never thought I'd see you again. Okay, she seems nice. I can't wait to see how she is going to betray my expectations. Have I ever made it to stay Jenny later than right on time, Jenny Jenny? You never disappoint us, Mr. Ace. Did you see that awesome tent my sister made for me? I have seen a lot of tents over here, and all of them are amazing, yes. Jolly Jolly really found the time to build you this? I know, right? She's always so resourceful. When I was finally done crying, the tent was already up and standing. Uh huh. I'm just glad to see you girls okay in such a weird place. You two are the best assistants a magician could have. Aw, thanks, Mr. Ace. And you're the greatest magician of all time. No matter what the green-eyed evil man said. Yeah, that mystery man that we don't know all that much about, except that we do. So, He's evil. What kind of goodies do you have in that tent? Oh, I can use it to store your trinkets. Talk to me, and I'll help you equip the ones you want. Great. Superb. I would like to equip all of them. Ooh, not possible. Oh, come but on. But you can equip one or two at a time, and sometimes three. That's it? But I have so many trinkets. I'm not sure why, Mr. Hmm. Ace. Could be the magic that built this place. Could be a simple design choice. I'm not sure. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm amazed that she knows that before I've even tried equipping any of these trinkets. All right, what do you got, girl? Uh, after 10 seconds without taking damage, Ace's main cards deal 80 more damage. Damage increases as Ace progresses through the palace. It's probably not bad, actually. When Ace loses HP, his main cards deal more damage for 10 seconds. That is probably gonna be more efficient than this one, at least for me. Protagonist Fist. After killing an enemy, Ace's main cards deal more damage for 5 seconds. Also interesting. Combat casting. Ace takes less damage from melee attacks. I have no interest in that. On a killing bow, and it remains with 1 HP. And it resets after killing a certain amount of enemies. Kinda cute. Takes less damage from range attacks. After 5 seconds without taking damage, Ace speed increases by 15%. Also not that interesting. Ace gains a new T potion per map. No, that doesn't sound good. I think I'm gonna go with one of those damage increasing ones. I'm gonna go with this one that increases my damage for killing enemies. Because I like to be proactive with that kind of stuff. That... Did not heal me to full. Oh, there we go. I was dashing into that instead of drinking it. Oh, there's the mystery man. Well done. You've passed the first test. Why, thank you. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I actually do say that all the time, my god. Don't get too cocky. 
Behind me is the banquet hall. And the enemies are much harder. <laughs> or, or so I've heard. Yeah, thanks for the warning. It's fine. I'll probably ace it. You're going to dandy ace it. Get it? Because my name is Ace. I got that. I got that. It was very good. A man of multiple talents, I see. Gotta work on your comic timing, though. It's all in the delivery. He's not wrong. Oh, I could use some delivery. Where's the food in the banquet hall? <laughs> well, there's food. Just not for you. The palace minions. They are always hungry. I bet they have a lot of cupcakes for me, though. Be careful not to end up the main course. <laughs> oh, Alright, let's go. Forget let's... everything you've learned so far. It won't matter on the next level. Ah, uh, he may be onto something there. But I'm not quite willing to believe that just yet. Okay, we got those bunnies out. There's some cards for you. Step on them. They did not stand on them. Come on, do it, do it. Yeah, he's gonna do it. There's my guy. Easy. Oh, ah, I walked into that. Bad. There. There. The cooldowns. I want to spam these attacks at times, but I just can't because of the cooldowns holding me a little bit back. Come on, Dandy. Time to test your amazing magic. Yeah, yeah, I'm all for it. Oh, man, the babe. The bunnies. The bunnies are not doing it for me. But we showed them. It was next. Right on time, Dandy. I brought you friends. Okay. Okay. I see what you're doing, game. Let's see what's up. There's one. Oh, that was bad, though. Come on. That's better. Oh, that's very, very good, though. We need that healing. Boom, oh, baby. That wasn't too bad. Escape artist sounds promising, though. Sounds like some kind of dash. I like that. I like that quite a bit. No, please don't destroy me. I said don't destroy me. There's a lot of attacks everywhere. I dash into that. One thing that we have to actually just internalize is I think we don't actually have iframes on our dash attacks. That's problematic. But it's fine. Ish. Maybe. Hopefully. Yeah, let's go. There's one down. Oop. There's a lot of balls on my screen. I dashed right into that one too. What's he doing? She's going to summon another ball. There's another ball flying my way. Oh no, I wasn't even done with this group over here. I was moving around too much. There you go. There's a bunny. Fork bunny. Fork bunny McG over here. He's gonna throw another fireball at me, but that's fine. Oh! There we go. Step into the cards. There's my guy. There's my guy. Gotcha, baby. There's another ball. One more hit ah, the cool up. It's actually very engaging, but it is harder than it looks. Just because I don't have yet the firm understanding on hitboxes. Yeah, how am I still standing? It is a secret to everyone. I'm about to die. Oh, I can actually just use it in fight too. Yeah, boy. No, no, no. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's very good. Ooh, another cupcake. Whoever it was, you're the real MVP. Okay, the punch in here. There's still enemies coming my way. That we left behind somewhere. We probably don't actually have to fight all of these guys, which we actually just have to consider. We could probably just leave them all behind where we stand. Uh, what do we do with this one? Vulnerability. I don't know what vulnerability really does. But I think we don't really need the cards around any longer, so... Actually, let's do it like this. Let's do it like that. We don't need that push ability all that much. Keep moving. We have a lot of money to spend in here too, so we can find another shop. That would be kind of cool. Ooh, boy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Balls. <laughs> Balls everywhere. And you just love to see him, don't you? 
boom, baby. You're dead. You're very dead. Shot that one poison cloud in the wrong direction, but it's fine. There's one more of you. Could I just completely ignore you and just go basically anywhere else? I think I could. I can't believe he's still standing. <laughs> Neither can I. I think standing is a pretty, pretty big word here. I am not sure if standing is quite the word I would have used. There's another cupcake. I want that cupcake in my life. In fact, I need that cupcake in my life. My god. Yes, I noticed. Thanks. Thanks for telling me. Thanks for reminding me. I almost did not notice. I need to eat that. I did eat it. That's not gonna hit me. That's gonna die. Boom. Put some cards on top of you. Kill it with fire. So death bomb basically means I apply some kind of effect on an enemy. And when an enemy dies, that effect goes up. Got it. That's pretty okay, I guess. Uh, there's one more wave of enemies, probably. Oh my god! You did need to spawn right next to me, didn't you? This is actually a pretty, pretty tame wave for the most part. I think... Oh, you. I was speaking too soon, evidently. We got them, though. There's more! Because, of course, there's more. Oh, the balls! Balls everywhere. Balls everywhere. We chomped everyone. Ooh, boy. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. He's about to die. There you go. Now for you. Gotcha. There's one more over here, and then we are done in this room. Oh, oh another passion comment, huh? Another one of those. I don't hate that. I really, really don't. Let's actually try to replace this one with something we can use a bit more regularly. I think the passion comment is going to be fine in that regard. And then we have a dead bomb on this passion comment that's just going to make it explode like crazy. And then this just adds damage, I guess. It's fine. We can only have all of those eight cards around at all times, so we need to really be careful around all of our planning He's phase so in here. And I mean, so boring and unoriginal. No, 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 no. I'm dazzling. I dazzle. I am exciting. I am a show. And we're actually back in here again, so that's great because we can just heal ourselves again. I needed that. Great to see you. I agree. It's also great to see you too, darling. No. Escape artist. We actually got that. It's a noxious cloud. Deals a lot of damage. Actually, it sounds very exciting, but for the moment, I want to have this crescendo firework. We're just one shot short of getting another upgrade in here. Those binding chains. We need more unlocks until we get the second T-Satchet, huh? That will take a while, but that's fine. Ah, let's go with gold credit then. Stag a little bit with gold is never a bad thing. Crescent fireworks. Astrid's missile fireworks. The longer it holds the shots, the bigger it gets. And it plays Burn. Burn sounds pretty exciting. Let's try that one out precise as well. Okay, it's literally just a pretty, pretty big rocket when you charge it all the way. That's nice. That's actually kind of cool. And also will charm enemies if we hit enemies with it. That's great. great. To see you, Mr. A. I think we can work with that. We can only dash every couple seconds now, but it will do damage. I'm going to add even more damage into all this, I'm sure. I'm going to go for the discarded shoes. I'm going to play this... Pretending like I will not actually to take more damage than necessary. You have to keep moving. Isn't it, I will. A great plan? it is a very great plan. Okay, so much for me not taking damage, I guess. Oh, uh, damage looks pretty, pretty good. Yeah, we have good range now, so we can't just keep our distance like this. It's pretty, pretty satisfying. Oh, so there are spy crabs on this side now. It's almost like we're back in Curse of the Dead Cuts again. Oh my. Yeah, I noticed. 
Oh, there's a... There's water. There's water flowing my way. There's a mage of some sort. And I hate to see it. I really, really do. Oh, but we got synergies going on in here. I don't understand half of them, but we got them. There's a blueprint for a credit card. I do like the sound of that. Even though I don't own a credit card, nobody should. Where did you buy your amazing outfit? You look so dapper. Why, thank you. Ooh, boy. I got bit. Can we just kill these jokers? Kill these clowns? Don't get struck by the water wave. The water waves are getting bigger. I can't help but notice that they are getting bigger the longer they travel. And it is a problem. It is quite the pickle, my god. It is quite the pickle we got ourselves into here. You shouldn't just rely on good hooks if you want to survive. He is not wrong there. He is absolutely not wrong there. Oh my. Yeah, those fireballs, they have a bigger range to them than it would look like at first. Whoever it was, you're the real MVP. Give me that cupcake. I need that cupcake in my life. Oh. There's one down. There's my cupcake. Grab it. Let's also not forget that we can still drink some honestly got tea if we want to. Teleport reach. Let's see. There's a gate. We ain't got no key, so there's no point going through there. Hello, hello. Anybody near? There were bosses in this game. I remember that. We just haven't seen them yet. Oh. oh, no. No, no, no. I don't want to be there when that attack goes up. Oh, man. The fireball. Oh, no. <laughs> Almost dashed into those spike traps there. But it was good. It was very, very good. Keep moving. Keep moving. Dashing forward. That's just a regular dash we had before. We don't want that. We don't need that. We don't desire it like that. We move back up in here. Teleport is nice, fast, and crisp. I like it. I like it quite a bit. Whoop. Good stuff. Yeah. Chain reactions. You see how they were just dying there in quick succession. It was lovely to look at. It was very, very lovely to look at. And that was next. Yeah, I am surrounded. I am very much surrounded, and I hate it. I am not a big fan of it at all. I got stuck. I got super stuck there. No, 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 no. Not now. Not ever. There's a new passion copy. It's a better one than the one we had before, I think. Let me see. That one is level 2. That one is level 3. So we're going to put that one in here. And then we're going to replace these two with one another. There we go. That looks good. Maybe we should basically keep all the charm effects around in here. Wouldn't that be kind of fun? Hmm. I'm kind of into the idea, I gotta say. But we already have so many death bombs in here. I don't think we truly should. Why we should? I don't know. I kind of want to. Hmm. Let's actually do it. Let's actually do it. Why not? Goodbye, Bubble Trouble. Yeah, yeah, off limits. I probably will at some point. Not now, but maybe at some... Whoa, okay, that was fast. That was fast. No, don't hang the bunnies for that. I mean, I don't like the bunnies, but you, sh you should still not hang them. I mean, it's not like I'm doing less horrible things to them. I really do. Oh, no. Yes, my man. Okay, that is... I don't know what it is. Oh, I remember those scythe guys. They were bad. Okay, that's a healing error, and it's coming from you, I'm sure. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh boy, oh boy. Just keep moving. Just keep swimming. Oh yeah, I remember those side guys. They were bad. They were extra bad. 
Oh, you son of a gun. Okay, we actually got the heal, I believe. And my death bomb chain uh, reactions are going crazy here. Oh, man. That's five of card again. No need for that. Unless it has a high level, which it does. Let's do it like this. What is this? Another blueprint. Gracefully accepted. And a big healer we don't quite need yet. There goes the key. Hello, little friends. Please behave yourselves. Please be good. Oh my god. Did you see the son of a gun just popping in right behind me? And he did it too. But that guy actually saw coming, and even though I saw him coming, I got all the damage done to me. There's one down. There's another one down. Yeah, we need to immediately move back and grab that cupcake that we left behind. That we left behind in here. There you go. Back to full HP. And there's a shop, and we actually do have finances that we can expand in here. There's a huge Titan Punch, there's a huge Toxic Wave. And there's a huge Bubble Trouble. I actually want to go with the Titan Punch in here just because I still haven't gotten it, honestly got good use out of it just yet. Money on that? <laughs> I did. Yes, sir, I did. Good. That should serve me well. Now you'll be overrun by enemies. Oh, the good thing is we actually have some pushback on this one. And the damage is, first of all, amazing. We actually have some pushback in here, so maybe we can actually make some decent use out of some of those spike traps on the ground. We really took something out in here, which is great. Oh, you! You! You are fun. Boom. Pack a trick, that's the explosive thing, I remember. <laughs> We're gonna leave it behind. We're gonna leave it behind, I think. Or we just use it, you know, we could. It has a little bit of a long cooldown, but the damage is pretty, pretty high. Nah, I actually like what we have so far. I actually do. Alright, where do we go next? Over here. What do you guys think of the movement speed in this game? Do you think this guy walks fast enough or not? I think it's actually pretty, pretty close to Hades where your regular movement speed is just kind of there. But we have movement options to just really sweeten the deal for you. There's another healer in there somewhere. All the way up in here. Oh, Good stuff. Great stuff. There's one more of you, Jokers, and I do not appreciate the sentiment at all. Okay, we apply all the debuffs on our enemies, and it's lovely to look at. Very, very much so. What we haven't seen yet is some kind of feeding effect for us. Don't break me into pieces. I would like to remain unbroken. Oh, it was good, though. We absolutely dismantled them. Goes in here. There's another healer. And one more of those rogue heroes. We got the healer. Yeah, when they pop in, they need to die. There's no buts about that. Oh, those guys. Boom. Nice punch out. Probably more enemies gonna spawn in a moment. More enemies gonna spawn in a moment. There they are! I had a feeling there would be another healer in here. I didn't know it. I just felt it in my gut. I have mixed feelings about the idea of being right about that. Good stuff. He dropped something. I don't even know what it is. That makes me feel like this. But we're gonna find out in a moment of that, I'm sure. Did we take them all out? We did. This is another blueprint. Hack and slash. That sounds actually kind of promising. And we made it even deeper in here. You're not even sweating. 
I am not. I am good as grapes in here, my dear darling friend. We can do this forever. Nah, no, we actually found a lot of shards in here, so we can go for more upgrades. Gonna grab that gold credit. Someone's crying in the background. Did you hear that? Let's go for the card recycle. No idea where I can sell cards, but now we can do that, so that's cute. There's second slash. Quick strikes in front of him. I actually want to go with this Escape Artist card. Because it sounds like it would be in one, one of those dash cards, and I really, really like them. Oh, poor Mystery Man is crying. Oh, oh, so sad. So very sad. We're gonna increase my damage even more in here. Heal ourselves back to full. You made it to his atelier. How exciting. I thank you. I've made it to whose atelier? Beyond this gate lies the atelier of the master of arts himself, the famous Axolangelo. Okay, that doesn't ring a bell at all. It sounds important. Is he a famous painter around these parts? The greatest! Have you ran into the deadly art apprentices yet? Let's just say he taught them everything they know. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'd love to get an autograph. For your own sake, let's hope you catch him in a good mood. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. I'm sure he will be in a splendid mood. So is that going to be a boss fight of some sort? Oh, I remember him! Oh, I remember that guy. Bring me the paint tubes I ordered. Sap green and yellow ochre. I think you're mistaken, Mr. Painter. Oh, we're gonna fight a boss in here, huh? Don't tell me you've mixed up my order again. Did you learn nothing in artist assistant school? Evidently, I did not. I'm not an assistant. I'm a fellow artist. You've probably heard of me. I'm the one and only. An artist? <laughs> you don't look like one. Where is your brush? Your sad face. Your dirty apron. No, 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 no. I'm not all about that life. I'm more about the kind of put on a happy face lifestyle. Wanna bet that a guy actually ends up knowing me and being my greatest fan? I can I'm a magician. already see it of coming. Magic arts, you see? Would you like a little demonstration? If you don't have my order, you have no reason to be here. I'll kick you out of my cell. Oh, we will see about that, big boy. He looks amazing, by the way. Oh boy. I saw that huge impact crater right in front of him. Oh no! He got me and that hurt. We need to keep punching him. If possible, I think I would actually much rather keep on using my range attacks against him. He's teleporting. It's fine. What's he doing now? Oh no! I was not supposed to stand there, I'm sure. Also, I'm pretty, pretty sure I'm not supposed to stand in those paint tubes there. In those paint puddles. Okay, I think we are still fine for the most part. Oh, he's gone again. He is back again. Doing things. Doing things. I should probably do a much better job at spreading all that paint around. My god, you son of a gun. Oh, that boss is no joke. I actually don't want to step into that paint. I did. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts like a truck. And we deal not that much damage to him, really. Oh, you. Good stuff. Okay, I think we can... Oh, no. Oh, no. That's a new thicker view. Good, there's more of those. Actually, try to spread them around a bit more on the outskirts of the map. Oh no, good. No, that was bad. Yes, I'm almost dead. I'm dead. Oh man. Whoo, but that was a good run. We actually saw the first boss in here, and Axel Angelo. He is a master of the arts, apparently also of the martial arts. He showed us up good. But I'm having fun with this game. I'm looking forward to playing some more of that. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this as well. I'm going to play a couple more episodes of this. So look forward to that. I've been Eddie Grant. And I hope to see you in the next video. But until then, have the greatest of days. And please do stay as awesome as you are.